For decades, much of rural Brazil had to cope with a poor supply of electricity. So people in the state of Rio Grande do Sol formed Crelus, a cooperative dedicated to providing reliable electricity for all who needed it. Crelus started by buying electricity from the national supplier to sell to its members. But this wasn't reliable enough. So in 1999, the members decided to invest Crelus' profits into their own sustainable power generation, small-scale hydroelectric power. From the beginning, the cooperative chose a program, a plan action to use the local resources in various rivers, without flooding, without displacements, with no harm to the environment. The six mini hydropower plants work within the flow of the river, so there's no need to flood land to make big reservoirs. Wagner is the engineer in charge of the Gran Javela power plant. This power plant produces around 1.3 megawatts. This is enough power for approximately 3,000 families in this region. The height of the dam can be adjusted to control the flow to the hydro plant and prevent the river from running dry or flooding. And even if we lift it to the maximum, there's a bypass channel underneath to maintain some flow along the river. We are generating power for 12,000 people without affecting even one meter of the river bank. The dam could have blocked the migration routes of fish. So this ladder for fish was designed. They just make this detour. The ladder has small boxes that fill with water when the flow comes through, the fish get inside the small boxes, go up, and then reach their destination. Beside the canal carrying water into the hydro plant, this support for local wildlife can be clearly seen. We planted in this area alone over 800 young native species. In this power plant, we have over 100 bird boxes hung in the trees, so they can build their nests protected from bad weather and wind. Alema Batisti is the cooperative's president, but all Crelu's members are involved in the running of the cooperative. It was the members who decided to invest the cooperative's profits in improving the distribution system and their own mini hydro plants. The consumers are members of the cooperative. Some regions were abandoned, they didn't have electricity or light. So Creluz was born out of the needs of the small farmers, small business and small industries. Creluz electricity has been essential for regional development. One local industry that has flourished with Kralus' help is amethyst mining. To begin with, we only had two drills and we couldn't switch on both drills and the lights at the same time. We didn't have enough power, the light would blow. Today, we can switch on ten drills, no problem. The mines have produced so many crystals in recent years that even a church is made out of them. The cooperative is dedicated to sharing the success the reliable power has provided by subsidizing electricity for those on low incomes. The cooperative created a social program where it surplus funding the cost of power supply delivery, installing the network, the poles, the meter boxes for poorer consumers. Milk producers Andre Kronbauer and his wife Christella couldn't run their farm without Kralus's help. Their help is the free network we have. We only pay a token fee, so we have power almost for free. I depend exclusively on electric power for almost all the work, all the milk production up to its collection by the truck. Some dairy farmers in other municipalities lose their milk because of power cuts, which has never happened to us here. By the end of 2009, the cooperative was operating six mini hydro plants with a total capacity of four megawatts. Each year, they can generate 17 gigawatt hours. That's just over a quarter of the electricity demand for 80,000 people. The cooperative has even bigger plans for the future. 
We want to continue doing local power generation, decentralized with low environment impact to achieve self-sufficiency. And self-sufficiency may be just around the corner. A survey team has found sites for two larger hydro plants, which Kralus will develop jointly with other cooperatives. Eventually, all of Kralus's electricity will come from its own sustainable power plants. Kralus is a great promoter of environmental issues and ecology in the Rio Grande do Sul area and nationally, and even on a global scale because it's always global, it's only one planet.